at Ben's uh, like suggestion, we're going to quickly live stream a little bit on the way back. Uh, we were just discussing a uh, marriage and what else? Not like <laughs> not between us, obviously. Um, and yeah, like a. Uh, certain groups think everybody else is a heretic other than them you know that kind of thing so here we are ben's just putting some uh, petrol slash diesel i don't really know into the uh, vehicular transportation in which we sit hey you all right to ek beer nice one i like the smile it's very friendly um it's just you at the moment babes so uh yeah it's pretty intimate um i don't know if people are just quite frankly bored of my face because I was streaming for a good like two three hours all told so that could be the case uh yeah when Ben gets back in uh then uh then we'll jump right to it and we'll thoroughly refute Catholicism I'm only joking he gets very triggered I don't want to uh, I don't want to make him cry I'll do it privately don't worry hello second person Ooh. Who are you? I can't see who you are, but you are not twat. We are. Oh, it's a bit interesting. tight. What was? I'm, I'm either getting fat or this place gets tighter. Oh, I see. Yeah, Where I think. They? I think. <laughs> I think only one of those things is actually doable. What oh, is wrong? Right. So I don't want to put my hand in front of the uh, the mirror there because those are pretty uh, important things to drivers. So I hear. Yep. Seat belts are also important. A good reason we heard that clunk click every trip routine. Hello, Ben said Twek BR. Tech BA, you know, oh, like, he's not a Muslim as far as I'm aware, or a he, I don't even know. Hiya. But he said, hi. How are you? Strong Tower. Hi. Oh, you're the second. Nice, nice. So if anything horrific happens to Twek B, you'll take over the reins as the first in attendance. And there's another. I love a three. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. God is sovereign. God is sovereign. You decided to stay and speak to Naz, even though he's a lovely guy. You could have just easily done that on Skype, young man. Sorry, I'm not Ben's mum for anyone who's wondering. And then I clarified in case anyone started getting excited that you were going to become a Protestant in the game pretty soon. I'm married. And he's married, apart from that. Like, because it's not really on my radar. It's all right, but I wouldn't know where to put the body. Do you know what I mean? and uh, repent afterwards. Martin, you're such a little blessing. Martin Ellen's here as well. That is Ben, everybody. Strong Tower is cheersing, I think. Like, salute. That's a nice little statue, everybody, while we're waiting. That is a... Uh, waste of taxpayers' money. That is a winged... That is a winged... It's a Roman... It's a waste of taxpayers' around. money. Yeah, but they're taxpayers that are no, long dead. No, That's been there for no, years. I does everyone know that Ben was already an elderly gentleman, even in his 30s? I'm wondering if they know. He was born in a cardigan, so to be fair, <laughs> we, we are just waiting for photographic evidence from his mother or the scan picture that shows the Argyle <laughs> with the pipe <laughs> and the clipboard. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. I just believe it in my the soul of my imagination, as it were. Same way I believe Paul Williams sits behind his keyboard in a twin set of pearls, like clutching his pearls all the time. Ah, oh, he's not a grumpy old git, he's just a, a old git, or just a grumpy git, whatever. We're down with the gitness, because it's not, yeah, just when he feels like it. So, any questiones, because uh, Ben's pretending to concentrate on his driving, which is a blessing. Uh, yeah, questions are welcome at this point so that I don't have to socially interact with Rome. <laughs> I mean, Ben. So, yeah, we're coming up to the Ritz, uh, which is famed in song and literature and uh, tourist guides to London. People who have too much money. No questions, or there's a delay, or everyone's trolling me for a change. So unusual. They'd be better off trolling me with questions, really. Hint, hint, reverse psychology. Let's see if it works, even when you tell them. I'm not Darren Brown, obviously. There's the Ritz. And in olden days, a glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking. Now heaven knows anything goes. And I think that gets around to putting on the Ritz. I think that's that song. I am, um, let me tell you something. My, um, my wife said she's going to leave me because of my severe OCD. 
Don't be a prophet now. Like, <laughs> what was it my wife said, uh, you're so fat that <laughs> I can't remember. She, my wife said, I said to my wife, am I getting fat? She said, Ben, she looked me dead in the eye. And she said, Ben, I only know five fat people and you're three of them. <laughs> I have you... to laugh because it's compulsory. Chuck, God bless you. Martin is laughing. But yeah, that's quite funny. But those, it's like uh, Les Dawson with the mother-in-law jokes. Like it, that you get into a vein and that's that's that. Yeah, there is a, there's a bit of laughter going on, a bit of LOLing. I don't know if it's out loud, really. But um, yeah, this is beautiful here. Look up there at Justice, I think that is. Can't think of a, a Roman name, but one of them's got her lils out, which is quite uh, Roman-y. Not Roman-y as in gypsy. <laughs> Romanish, Romanesque. Romish. They love a bit of a bit of a boob out. Um, it's pretty pretty around here. It is fairly pretty around here. Oh, let me show you. Look, there's my little Union flag. Love a Union flag. That's some sort of barracks, I reckon. I think that is a barracks. I know that is, I'm pretty sure. The architecture is uh, pretty decent here. Uh, what is that building? It's death. Look at that port colours. Come on. This is Pall Mall, everybody. That is the entrance to. I'd like, well, it's got to be top secret because they're not telling us that. Um, yeah, oh, by the way, this is uh, Pall Mall, everyone. You can buy this on Monopoly uh, if you're playing the British version and uh, people have to pay rent when they stop on your square, of course. Uh, yeah, that's enough of that. I don't know what that dome is in the background. I'm pretty sure it's not St. Paul's from this distance. So, yeah. Okay. That's true. We made the historic chuck just by being us. Because we ran the world, this tiny little island home of ours. We just ran that ting, as it were. Oh, that's pretty pretty, as it were. Pretty decent. Still Roman though. I don't know. Oh, that's a, that, sorry. That's a monument to the Crimea. But I swear the woman had a laurel leaf in her hand. Here is the Kazakhstan. The, there's Kazakhstan house. Uh, looks like a bit of a bit of a um, like travel agents to me. I think it is. Yeah, these. That's um, that's Canada House, everybody, and that's the Tate. Is it the Tate? It's the National Gallery. National Gallery. I'm so I do apologise for the Sounds National. Not. You had your head tilted. That's Canada House, everybody. That, I took a friend in there last time they were visiting and it is pretty like decent in there to be fair. Obviously the gift shop is an absolute ripoff. Oh, look at this waste of money. Oh, that is pathetic. Absolute waste pathetic. of taxpayers money. And but her, pretty funny. The architect who invented that, may he drop his toast but He's not, <laughs> dog hair's in the uh, mix. He's not talking about Nelson, everyone, by the way. He's talking about that fourth plinth monstrosity. Yeah, yeah, this is a car tour that of in, London. That encouragement to diabetes over there. <laughs> All right, so Canada House, everyone, would like us to see another rainbow, but pretending it's for the NHS. Nice. Like it. Perish. They are the A team, but spelt E-H, obviously, because they're Canadian, as Chuck knows. Chuck knows. That's the Admiral, Admiralty. I once had a debate with Paul Williams outside of there when he was out of Islam for 23 seconds. Uh, again, he had a pork sausage over there, just grassing <laughs> him up. He did. He did. He. I got some, like a little uh, takeaway pack lunch out of a supermarket and I just unthinkingly offered him the little mini cocktail sausages, which were most definitely pig product. And uh, yeah, he just gobbled it up. Can you believe it? Paul eating the sausage. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> His madge, her, her madge. Ah, sod him. Can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Twice the heretic and then dust off the sandals, even though I've just got my shoes on. Or whatever. I can, I can imagine. Right, this is the millennial. God created everything and the minds that created that also millennial wheel. <laughs> that costs an arm and a leg to go up there. I've been you, on that. You need an arm and a leg whilst you're up there. Yeah, I haven't been on there, but I've. Uh, Terrifying. Be near it's it. Terrifying. Yeah, but you don't like heights, it's so that's a really silly thing to do for you. High. Yeah, yeah, it's quite, quite incredibly high, but it's still nice. You can have like meetings up there and champagne lunches. Not that I work for them, but uh, something I said just like put a quite a few. Oh, maybe like Christian princes on or something. Love that guy. Anyway, because you're doing a stupid tour rather than speaking. Oh, shush, shush. Shush, child. All right, so yeah, any comments and I'll come off of the uh, guided tour of London and uh, actually interact with Ben. 
everyone screamed <laughs> in horror. Anyone who doesn't want to see the Thames better liven up with it. Just give me, throw out a topic. Doesn't even have to be necessarily biblical. Strong Tower was enjoying the tour. No, no one is. He was. That is St Paul, surely to gosh. That is the radio thing. That's a little crystal angel. Quite pretty. This is, this is, this is Cleopatra's needle. This is Egyptian idolatry. <laughs> Um, can you meet the Queen, Jack Beer? Um, my schedule's pretty full, so but I will. Uh, Liz, I think she's uh, I think she's still grieving, so I think we'll we'll give her a bly. Marianne doctrines, Chuck. What is it about them? Would you like to? Dis it's been thrown up as a discord. No, no, I can talk about them because uh, you know I haven't got any big cheese telling me what I can talk about other than uh, the big JC, not the Spanish one, the actual. It's not Spanish. He speaks Spanish and he is Peruvian, now that I've given his full nationality. Anyway, they knew. Him and uh, Paddington Bear. So, Marianne Doctrines, yeah. I've spoken about them actually on a couple of my other um, live streams recently. I don't find them to be biblical. Do you know that I, doesn't mean they're like a negation of salvation. Do you know what I heard someone say earlier? I was debating this Muslim and he said to me, the Council of Nicaea is where Mithra, Mithraism or the, the religion of Mithra or Mithras mm -hmm. was uh, was collided with Christianity. I said, "Have you read Nicaea?" He said, "No." I said, "I, can, <laughs> I said I can tell." Bless. Yeah, bless. Absolutely Maybe it absurd. was in an episode of Star Trek. I said, I, "I can tell." I reckon it was in Doctor Who or something like as a like a spin off. You know what I mean? Like Nicaea that yeah, created yeah. the religion of Mithras. So I don't then, think there were any non Christians in there, were there? What? In Nicaea. I mean, people who were later. Yeah, didn't Arius ask. was a heretic. No, but I'm saying, as in, they were still arguing around christian like there was no no one going in there and going well i'm a hindu and i think no, was, exactly was Aryan, Aryan yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh yeah no but i'm saying he was denounced post nicaea so at the time he was so yeah, yeah yeah well but they're not pre nicaea you see what i'm saying he was invited as a christian and then denounced and smacked in the mouth uh like mid meeting yemeni gray parrot i don't get what your question is what was it? we already know england comma so question mark um yeah not everybody does so when you say we i don't know if you're talking like schizophrenically or you're just speaking for it's traffic the the, the chat sunday why is the traffic on sunday no idea fetiches have you ever ever heard of the of elder Paisios? yes you should watch the documentary on him he was a true man of god just is as this, you hear the ones in the bible ask, is, is this the documentary it's quite new is that apparently right apparently mithras mimicked christianity after it gained ground yeah ask that guy uh, Fet Fet is that the one that's is that quite a new documentary i think i've seen that advertised please can, please respond immediately even though there's, there's a delay you can um drop me that i can afford it to ben or you can go into his discord i think the link's probably in your description isn't it nope he keeps his cards pretty close to his chest. We, we invite those who want to debate. Oh, okay. So there's a heavy betting process. But um, yeah, if you want to know, I don't know what you're knowing now. So, oh no, it's a three or four hours of documentary. About so, it. It, so it's not the Is new one. Is it recently released? It, it's not. It's not the new one then, because I saw one recently. It was quite new. And it was talking about the life of an orthodox. Yeah. So I, I, I thought that was the same one. Apparently no. If it's the no to that question. I I'll... think you're wrong. I think it is the same one. Maybe he was saying no to, is he on Discord? Like, I'm not okay, really, no. do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think that is the same one, I could be wrong. Because I was meaning to watch that actually, it looked pretty good. Apparently, Wick Leoven, who is still not about safety his own faith, because he can't answer a question, but he's huh? very confident Wick to debate. Wick Leoven, he says, Elder Pesos, now his name's changed all of a sudden, um, the Athenite. Is this, is this, is this, uh... Come on. No, this is uh, Wick, okay. who is uh, pretending not to be a Muslim while being fully a Muslim oh. and can't answer a question but wants to debate. Uh, bless him. Or if it's a him. Do you have that? Um... Aladdin popped up the I other day say, again. Do you still yeah, have yeah. I just like the other day. He doesn't do well Yeah. Anymore. I don't have to watch the road. We're not in America, Google to Kia. I'm not driving. <laughs> like, hi. <laughs> Look, there's the steering wheel over there. So, yeah, yeah. We're all, all exactly England, where we invented driving and then perfected it and then passed it around for you people to just fanny about with maybe it was that that one ben but there's an older one too it's a greek documentary translated to russian and into english 
Oh, there's a new one. There's a new one that looks really modern and really good. <laughs> Not to say that the old one isn't good. Not to say the old one isn't good, but the new one looks it looks pretty good. I'm, I was thinking about watching it. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. Jacko, I really hope that means something else where you are. Don't read it out loud, please. Um, the Eagle. Do you mean Rome or America? I don't. What's the, what's what's the reference to the Eagle? Eagle. Prepare to defend the Eagle. Don't know. Jacko, yeah, I thought hopefully it was something like different. Brilliant. Yeah, I've seen them in my comments. They're not usually, fr maybe I just have a mind that is. No, it means it means what he's saying. It means obviously there's no. He doesn't tell me what it means. No, there's no way to interpret that other than what you think. Shut up! Oh my gosh! Tell me it's not so, Jacko. Tell me you have an innocent explanation. Prepare to defend it is the message. Oh, the eagle is the name of the movie. Thank you, Roman Sixteen. It's called the Eagle, apparently. Okay. So, yep, Jacko has gone into hiding, apparently, because of. Amy Passmore, thanks. I don't know if you're talking to Ben as well, or just, just Ben. <laughs> to be fair, are you in the UK, Amy? British people like football. Uh, soccer is some foreign, like, name because they've already got rugby, but they call that football. Um, uh, yeah, but weird comments. Um, so... Yes, British people do like football. Uh, we like it more so when there's any international, like, uh, championships because all of the people who spend all of the rest of the season, like, uh, you know, like getting at each other because of team, uh, you know, rivalries, some of which are friendly, some of which are not so much, then they all get to unite behind uh, St George, who wasn't English. But, yeah, Ben's not massive on it, but there are other sports that he likes. NFL sucks always, but um, yeah, the left it like this. Even the British soccer players are kneeling, and it's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. It's just trash. If I would, I would have booing on loud, and then they were told like, please don't boo because we were booing quite rightfully. Like I still am at home. Obviously, they can't hear me though. But um, it is so cringy, and it is so leftist, and it is so like godless and just bowing to secular narratives that don't even make sense that are just marxist subjectivism dressed up as like freedom i don't know do you have any videos on the flat earth firmament biblical cosmology the the, the flat earth society has members all around the globe <laughs> he's a comedian fire grain is singing k's going home k's going home Jeez. i am exactly right fire love it I, I will boo Martin Ellen. I'm not booing the game, you nut nut. I'm booing them taking a knee for Black Lives Matter that don't say one single solitary word. They do say one word. When I tell them about Nigerian Christians being like battered and slaughtered, they do say one word, which is, eh? Hey, don't know. They don't care. They don't care. The flat. It's a joke. The Flat Earth Society has offices all around the globe. It's a yeah, joke. You, you missed it. Let me explain the joke so it's even Gosh. funnier. When I say <laughs> the Flat Earth Society has... Pay attention, please. The, my wording was very particular. The Flat Earth, Flat Earth Society has members all around the globe. It's, it's an ironic joke that for some reason went over your head. Okay. Or should I say around your head? Oh, controversial. Do you believe in the firmament? No, he's not a Flat Earther. What do you mean? No. No, no one believes in a dome that was placed over a pizza-shaped planet, except for Terry Pratchett. Like, uh, yeah, I believe in Discworld. It's a brilliant book series, but it's fiction. And that even in them, they have no permanent. Permanent, exactly. Just for me. When we coming back to the park is next Sunday. Modine chasing Kay. What a name. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's sad, happy frenzy, when people take the shahada, but when they do it unknowingly, I think God is quite forgiving, you know what I mean? He said, um, I feel so bad watching no, those no, videos. I don't understand oh. this one. Who is taking us to Mars, please? I've no idea, Roman Six King. No one's taking what me to Mars, lovey. What the is this about? 
Jacko, would you give me some evidence for that, please? What's your that? assertion. He says that the globe earth theory you know is what, satanic. Though? Did you know? Let me... <laughs> I mean, it's a shame. So let, many let, Christians, brilliant theological minds of the last me, two thousand years. Wait, questions. wait. We're talking about the big ones. They've all fallen for it as let, well. Let, me address, no, let, what, let him tell us why it's satanic. Let, no, let, let, let me ask. Let me say two things first. For one, if the if the earth was flat, I genuinely wouldn't care. Like it, it wouldn't. I would not lose sleep over it. Or your salvation. So, so what I'm saying is this, okay? In a sense, there's part of me that if the if the earth was flat, I would find that pretty cool because I would want someone to go and find the edge of it. Exactly. I, no I, one ever has. I, I would find that pretty cool. I really would. So I'm not saying like people who believe in a flat earth society have taken leave of their senses. Except this guy is saying I'm, the opposite. What, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that it wouldn't affect me apart from I'd probably watch some YouTube videos of people trying to find the end, end of the world. But what, what I will ask is, why is the earth being a globe? What, why is believing that satanic? Yeah, I'm, I'm I don't, for where, that. Where is the logic there? Why, what makes the round earth theory Satanic. Also, um, there would be a there would rather than a circumference, there would be a. This is Terry Pratchett again. I love Terry Pratchett. There would be a circumference. Someone would have to put up fencing around uh, the edge. Is this the person? Yeah, there's no edge to the flat Earth. What well, it goes on into a, like eternity. Is it is it an infinite flat Earth? Hang on, it's covered by a dome. Oh, so the and then he says the same way the mud sick. There's a typo, I reckon, ran out, M-U-D-S-I-C. So, so, do you believe there's like a cat on the edge of the earth pushing things off? No, no, he thinks it's a, like a pizza under one of those sandwich uh, globes. So basically, and the stars are painted on the inside of the globe. And where is God in this equation? So basically, it's like a, it's like a, um, it's like when you go to one of those fancy restaurants and they open up the lid and the turkey's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a tureen. Yeah, or whatever you call yeah, it. That's absurd. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is... But either way, like Ben says, it's um it's not gonna be salvific if you believe that you've got biblical like well, I, I genuinely couldn't care if the world is flat i'd find it interesting but i wouldn't really wouldn't change anything yeah. I, I think that i think the horizon just no, puts sorry. that to I'll pay ask it, ask it, to bed why, why is it why is the belief in the in the in the globe yeah sorry jacko sorry jacko god placed the firmament but the firmament is not described as an upside down cooking bowl. But why, why is that? He also created the stars and he spread out the heavens. Even why is believing in the flat earth? Why is <laughs> it's that? It's pronounced heaven. Why is that even, why is it satanic? Explain that. Well, what, what, I'm genuinely curious. I'm not saying like, I'm trying to argue. I'm genuinely curious. No, we're not what, getting a burger. We just what, eaten. What makes it satanic? I don't, I've never heard a flat earther tell me and I've, I've, I think no, I, because he's saying the flat earth theory is nonsense. Also, it's the biblical yeah, but, yeah, but doctrine. What I'm asking, is, what, I'm asking is, is what makes it satanic? Satanic, exactly. Because I've spoke to flat earthers and none of them have, have ever said to me it's satanic. I know an atheist who was brought to Christianity via flat earth. He's on a Discord, a pretty decent geezer, Chris. But he's never told me my view is satanic. No, I've, I've never heard a flat earther say it's satanic. Would you please expound? Exactly. Please respond immediately. Immediately. I knew you were going to say that. So, yeah, there's some weird Sunday traffic going on. You must respond immediately. Yes. This message will self-destruct. Because I'm genuinely curious. Seconds. Wow, that was a bit of a delay there. Okay, so, why not flat disc, lol, all of Egypt, yes, that one. Prepare to, oh no, that's old shizzles, sorry. Okay, so, no, he hasn't responded yet. Oh, oh it says in the Bible we are at the centre of the universe and you believe in the globe earth, which says we revolve around the sun and look into NASA history. It was founded by dark art occults. Let me answer that one quickly. Uh, I don't need NASA to um, like verify stuff for me. I just know that the earth is not flat just because we knew that Israel was God's chosen. Well, like, Well, for, for starters, NASA, the National Association of Space of Space no, Apes, National doesn't, oh, no, Aeronautical oh, no, no, it's Na American. National Association of Space Apes. But NASA, put that to the side why why is believing let's say for example i know let's say i know nothing about nasa okay isn't belief in christ why, why and confession is, of christ why, as lord why, enough why, why, by it, the way let's say i don't let's say i know nothing about nasa okay why is my view of the earth being round why is that satanic what makes that satanic and what has satan got to gain from it I'm because not, it do doesn't what? detract I'm, from I'm salvation even, i'm genuinely not even trying to debate i, I genuinely am curious he wants to know i don't know why you'd think that and while He's... you're all waiting there's the tower of london 
and Tower Bridge. It's like if somebody said to me, the, 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 you know, the, the salt water isn't really salty, <laughs> it's, just, it's just something else. That's also satanic. He's not answering you, but he's saying you're indoctrinated. And uh, it's so strange these days. And he's sorry you've been manipulated and he'll pray for your guidance, Ben. Right. I, he said, screw K. Like, I'm just going to pray for Ben's guidance. Well, I appreciate your prayers, but I don't think believing All right, in now, the now tell me. Okay, you. now, Jacko, if you don't mind, like, with all uh, any due respect, uh, can you tell me how it would negate someone's salvation? Because certainly uh, that's Satan's end game. He doesn't care if the earth is flat or round. Um, so can you tell me how, uh, do you say that people who believe in a round earth are um, like unsaved? I, I don't think I'm going to... Let him answer my question. Uh, yeah, I don't think when I die, I'm going to, let's say for example, hypothetically, I get to the gates of heaven and then, and then it's like, well, hold on, <laughs> you believe the earth is round, we can't let you in. I mean, come on, what the freak? Mm -hmm. Okay, Google Tikia says both their parents worked in the whoa space industry. I know oh, it was just very loud. I can. I'm not saying it's your. Yeah, just look into the firmament. Okay. Hang on. I don't see any light. Ref like I don't see anything reflected, refracted off of it or reflected. Like I just see, you know, ionized particles. Let me ask you this, my my, my dear flat earth friend. Do, mm -hmm. you, do you believe that people have gone into space? Do you believe that? Of course not. They'd hit the uh, the top of the dome. No, but I want no to, they don't believe I want, that. No, no. They think the stars are painted on the inside or no, whatever. I want to, because most of them say, the ones I've heard and, and They don't believe say, in Australia. They, they believe, yeah, they, they believe that people who say they've gone into space. It's funny, no, he's here. He knows he's here. Um, yeah, uh, some flat earthers, many, I don't know how many there are to be fair. The sun believe that Australia doesn't exist. I've got family there and my dad's been there. The sun, moon and planets are luminaries. They are not floating spinning balls, lol. They are like lights in the sky. Almost as if they've been painted do you, do you on. Believe, do you believe that Australia exists? Yay or nay, answer immediately. <laughs> do you believe, I repeat, do He's you believe all right, Australia <laughs> exists? It's a specific question. Don't, tell, don't talk to me about the firmament. Don't talk to me about NASA. Do you believe the nation of Australia, that country? The Commonwealth. Do you believe that exists? Our our cousins. That, that, la that piece of land in the ocean that we filled with our criminals, do you believe that exists? <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, he says, yeah, of course, flat earth conspiracy theory was created to make the real biblical flat earth look stupid. Excellent. And was uh, the non-existence of Australia uh, like, a, is that a genuine position that you hold, or is that part of this flat earth conspiracy? And isn't it brilliant when everything is a conspiracy? Oh, right. Oh, and Africa and South America, apparently. What's Africa done to? Oi, oi, I ain't having this. Oh, by the way, I've been to Africa. It does exist. Yeah, yeah. I've been there twice. I'm oh, always spatting I've, about it. I've been to Africa three times. I can guarantee you it's there. Nice. My dad has been to Australia and he doesn't pay that kind of money and, to just fly over to by, the Isle of Wight. By the way, I was actually on both sides of Africa, northeast, northwest. I can guarantee you the place is there. Exactly, and the horizon. What's up with that? If it's flat. And also, mountains and stuff, like are they balancing? What's going on, mate? I mean, I had dinner with a bunch of Moroccans. I guarantee you the place is there. I had dinner with a bunch of Egyptians. I can guarantee you the place is there. Exactly, we don't have any Moroccans or Egyptians here to have dinner. <laughs> They're fake they, Oh my gosh, NJ is trolling, but it's a Truman show. They changed the set just for Africa. Yeah, and all those macheteings and murders of Christians, that's all just part of the big conspiracy. Jacko is not answering the question about Australia, so I guess he doesn't believe in it. Uh, but he's saying, watch Eric Dubay's videos on Flat Earth and how he links you know it what? to biblical cosmology. Let me answer that. I, I will, I'm, I'm interested in this, so I will look into that person, Eric Dubay's, however you say his name. D U B A Y S. Okay, but do you believe Australia exists? Yay or nay? Answer immediately. You can ask the audience, you can phone a friend, but we need your final answer. I, I'm not, I'm not going to mock you, I probably will, but do you believe in Australia? Yes, he believes. When people say Africa doesn't exist, I'm sorry. I, I, what where, I hear is... Where did cuckoo, I land? Cuckoo. Where, where, where did I land? I was, in, I was in the desert in one place, which is... It's everything. all right, chill. He believes in it. He believes Does in he it. believe Africa? <laughs> do you believe that uh, that Speaker's Corner exists? Do you believe I exist? I've told where, 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 you the conspiracy theory is a military psyop to make the real earth look flat. How about it's all satanic? All of these psyops and 
and uh, like uh, MK Ultra and so How about Satan is trying to distract us away from the glory of God and the light of men who is Jesus Christ? How about them apples? How about this? I don't believe you exist. <gasps> How about that? Mmm, controversial. Joke. I know, so am I. You can tell by the fact that my mouth is moving that I'm joking. Um, he's yet to see a corner at the corner. Sorry? He's roundish him. This is Google to hear. I said to speak as corner exists and he's like, I haven't seen the corner yet. I'm going to, I'm going to draw a map and put, no. Jacko said, may the heavens declare the glory, um, us God, of God, I guess it's a typo. And the firmament show us his handiwork Psalms. I don't get why that proves a flat earth. Because he's taking firmament to mean an upside down bowl that you plonk on the pizza. But firmament does not mean that. Look up the word firmament. That's game like just that. look just do, do like a do a study of what do a joe rogan just, fact check this just, conspiracy uh, just stuff. look just look at the people who have gone the people who have gone to space i mean oh that's that's another question do you believe no. people no, do you believe people have actually gone into space yay or nay do you believe that answer now don't don't say well nasa is a conspiracy just tell me do you believe they've gone into space i'm, I'm genuinely interested he's loving life at the minute he's got something I, else I, to... I, I genuinely find this an interesting topic I want to know why they think what they think. The inventor of the rocket and the man who was in charge of the five moon landing says, may the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork on his tombstone. That's fine. Do you believe we went into space? He was also the founder of NASA. We just did say no NASA stuff. And not so that do, we are. Do you believe, like, like genuinely, I'm not mocking you, do you believe people went into space? Do you believe people landed on the moon? Technically, we are in space already, but, you know, I get... Ben's question. Did anyone leave the earth and go into outer space? Do, is there in is there outer space outside of the dome? The International Space Station is a hoax question from KL. China's new space station is a hoax. China are like professional BSers. But uh, yeah, it's not to say. I mean they probably don't call it like a snow globe arrangement because that's got the word globe in it. So yeah. Uh, the f those flags seem intentional on the 4th of July. Which flags? Okay, so the outer limits, we can see satellites fly by in the sky. That's Google to Kia. My dear friend, respond immediately. Ojeko said, of course not. No mortal man can leave this earth. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> That's all I need to know. How can any Christian believe this? Right. I'm not saying the moon landings, there's no like discrepancies in that. Although they, each of those points can be also counted because it's just a subjective opinion. That I, mean, they, I mean, actually, no, the truth is the truth, whatever happened, but I wasn't there to witness it. But of course, man can leave this earth. Of course, Elijah left this earth. I'm just throwing it out there in the Bible. So, uh, yeah. So, I know Track Beer is now interacting with Jericho. Quite a few people are. Let's be like, let's all love each other. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, are people saved if they believe in a round earth, oh, yeah. Jacko? If I believe in the, that the earth is round or a globe of some kind, will I go to hell based upon this belief? Okay, Jacko, I'm going to come back to your um, assertions about outer space, but I love everybody too. I'm commanded to, Roman 6 King. My dear friend, do you believe that if <sighs> it's I... turned into a rule all of a sudden. <laughs> My dear friend. Do, do you believe that if I believe in the round earth, I'm going to go to hell? Yay or nay? Please respond immediately. Of oh, course okay. you won't go to hell. And where is heaven, by the way? Is it an upward looking, okay, like, I, through I the dome? I appreciate the... That's good. I mean, because it's... Oh, thank goodness it's not uh, Jesus yeah. judging. I mean, because the, the, the last thing I would want to go to hell for would be the shape of the earth. Oh, imagine that. Oh, I mean, of all things. Exactly. I'd rather go for the good old fornicating and the lying and the well, someone and the... someone told you, read that. Quick. Any good debates or discussions at SC, and it was Biblical Unitarian Christian. I had a very long bum numbing chat because I was sitting down at the time with um, a guy who was pretty, like, I wouldn't say reasonable, he was defending Islam, but like from a sort of left wing, like, corruptible. Do you know what I mean? Like, he, he, he didn't mean to, he thought he was being compassionate. Ask I answered, I talked to him for ages, that was on camera. I did one persecution bid, I did two streams. So I'm a. Uh, yeah, doing work for Jesus. He said, when the flood... Oh, see, he's done two comments you haven't responded to. When the flood comes at the end of days... Sorry, i got to answer that one right there without reading anymore. We're going to be destroyed by fire, Jacko. The flood, God promised in the rainbow, not the gay one, the real one, that uh, he's never going to flood the earth again. So I don't know what you're talking about. And then Jacko's former comment was, of course, you won't go to hell. No, that's not the one. How can... If biblical Unitarian, did you... 
No, oh, that's not him. That's no, Jack no, I'm asking you. Did you look into that thing I sent you? You said you was going to Buck, look into it. Did you look into the shizzle? You, you, sent said, you said you was going to look into it and get back to me. Did you look into it and did you? Or are, are you a liar are, are condemned you, to the you, lake of fire? Are you planning to get back to me? Please answer immediately. It's like your sign off. I think that's Discord that's got you doing that. That's outrageous. No, Modine, Jason K. I will not mutter with you. It's not really Modine, it's someone doing a passable impression. Biblical Unitarian, I did say respond immediately. It's been a few seconds now, you're yet to respond. Why a friggin' vase? He's so Jewish all of a sudden, already so soon. Yiddish. Okay. Um, Rightio then. So, Deborah's finding this amusing, I'm glad. But yeah, uh, Jacko, just to let you know, you do literally have limited time and this tape will self-destruct because we're just about to get somewhere where we're going to pull over for a second. So, in the words of Hatton, um, yeah, can someone... No, Jack, I think Jacko's fallen off the edge. I think he's run up against the firmament. I don't know if he's even a he. He could be a Jacqueline. I looked at some of it. I mentioned how I disagreed with Jason as well on Galatians. Um, yeah, most people disagree with Jason, but I'm, I'm interested including in Paul. I'm, inter I'm, interested in, um, <laughs> I'm interested in what you think about what I said to you. So please get back to me soon. Jacko says, isn't it fascinating how all ancient religion and Christians depicted the earth as being flat? And when scientists came about with the evil occult, that's when they pushed the globe of, let me have this one. Um, Copernicus. Are you saying that Copernicus is the result of modern science, Jacko? I wouldn't have thought so, but who knows? Let's find out if he had access to natural National Geographic subscription. What does God teach about? He was a Freemason? Who was? Copernicus. Uh, no, no, no. My question is, did Copernicus have access to NASA, like information or disinformation, whatever you want to call it? And you know the answer is no. So he's saying that uh, Copernicus was a Freemason. Oh yeah. So anyone. Who no, I'm just saying he was pre anyone, um, science anyone, being anyone accepted who, anyone as. Who believe, okay, anyone who believes the Earth is round is in some. <laughs> Sorry, it went it disconnected from it. The Holy Spirit prevented it okay. from being picked up. Ah, oh, Chuck, don't, man. What did he say? Jacko's a wacko. But the point isn't now. I've said it. But the point is, um, like Canada, Canada is very forgiving Canada, people. Not Canada. I like to say Canada. Who says just Canada. K does. Canada. Canadia, it's where they make maple syrup and drink it. It's cold America. Mm, yeah, cold, um, like uh, saying, cold. Uh, Bill C sixteen. Saying about this, about pussy prime minister. Say, say about 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 how about it. Yep, but not even like Scott. How about it? Right, how can you know when an Islamist is lying, moving? Let's the same way you can tell when I'm being sarcastic. It's amazing. It's a brilliant tool. Right, so without. I'm just gonna. Yeah. I, I walked into my um, I walked into my local feminist society the oh other day. Gosh. So I walked straight to the counter of this feminist society, and I said, "I would like to speak to the man in charge, please." Help me, Jesus! And they they asked me to leave. Help! You're right. Open secrets. Right, I've got to go, everyone, because uh, I will scroll up about Copernicus. I saw you called him a Freemason. Is that the comment you mean? They use psychedelics like DMT to talk to evil spirits to gain knowledge to push these satanic teachings like the globe. So he's changed it now. It's not because they're relying on science. Now it's um, some sort of MK Ultra stuff, unless he made a comment before that. Mm -hmm. How about those who say they know so, no, they don't know a thing because they know who, no, don't say so. It's a joy. He's quoting song lyrics, Roman Six King. All right, I've got to go, peeps. Lots of love. And, um, <clears throat> Modine Chasing K, please change your name back to whatever you really are. I have no idea, Roman Six King, but when people start quoting the they, I start uh, taking steps well, back. So I'm going to watch Eric Dubay. I'm going to watch him. Nice. Fact, I may even listen. I'm not. I may even listen to alert. him. I may even listen to him. Ben's channel is Ben Speakers. No, it's not. It's Ben Beal. Ben Beal's Corner. Ben space B E A L S space corner because he doesn't like apostrophes play on words of speaker's corner yeah so ben beals even though his name is beal corner nice put eric, an apostrophe eric, in there eric, do it right oh, no i don't want to eric dubai <sighs> yeah so it's ben beals corner basically no b-e-a-l we know 
No, he's he spelled my name. Oh, wrong. no, he's just saying Bill. I don't know who he's on. Can't do. But I gotta go. But that is actually that is true. I, I actually. No, get, I'm not. I uh, actually. Um, man, I, okay, I, I'm I not actually, that silly. I actually do get people all around the world messaging me. Do you know, all around the world. We got it, and you. It got it even more funnier after you said it twice. All right, lots of love. Thanks. So for what the... what I did with that joke is I implied get that the world. Guy. I implied that the world is round. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. All right, see you later. Lots of love. God bless. Bye, bye, bye.